Hi there, this is a small video introducing the use and benefits of shared parameters and a small demonstration of how to include the values within our shared parameters in tags. So at the end of this session we will have added a value um, to this small drawing. The value will be concerning the door properties and within this tag we will um, be able to write out the value of the uh, parameter. Okay, in order to get started I'll have to go to the manage ribbon. I will go to my shared parameters and if you haven't created a shared parameter before you won't be prompted with this message. You'll ju I'll just close it and you'll be prompted with this dialog box where you'll have to create a new shared parameter and you have to save it uh, at a certain destination. For this small test I'll recommend that you just save one on your desktop and I'll call it shared parameter test and say save. The first thing you want to do is to uh, create a new group and for this small exercise um, we will call the group door properties and the parameter within door properties uh, one of them could be uh, information about the door color like this and since that will be a color, red, green, blue, uh, we probably want the type of parameter to be text. So I'll say OK and you notice that it appears here. So far so good. I will say OK. Having done that, I will go to my project parameters and I will add a new one and this one should not be uh, simple project parameter because they can only appear in schedules but not in tags so we want to use the shared parameter that we just created and um, if I select here automatically the one I just created will appear so I'll say OK and I'll notice that these information the name the type of parameters already um, appears here and I can consider if I, uh, how I want to group it. Um, in this case it could be placed under identity data or text. I'll just um, place it here. And since this uh, parameter applies to doors only, I check mark uh, the category doors. And also pay attention to if it should be a type or an instant parameter. Um, we could have the same type of door but um, different instances in different colors so in this case I would um, recommend that you use instances. I will say OK uh, and now the project parameter appears here and in case you mark one of the doors you will also notice that under identity data we have a color. So I could type in red here for this door and I could type in purple for this one and apply that. The next step will be that these values should be written out in our door tags. For those of you who have created um, door tags before, they're placed on the annotate and then you say tag by category and you move it down and automatically a default tag will be placed. So, um, instead of making a new one from scratch, I'll modify this one by editing the family. And I'll jump to my family editor, um, where I'm able to edit this label. And in my category parameters, I won't be able to see um, the parameter just created, but if I add a parameter, and I select the one that we created before, voila, then you suddenly have the door 
color parameter and you can apply it to your list. I'll just uh, make a break here and say OK. Uh, and now you see that this parameter is in included into the label or the uh, tag. I could save it under a new name or I could just overwrite and load it directly into the project like this. And now you'll see that my information uh, is being written out in the tags. One last thing. Um, I will say before closing down is that when creating our shared parameters you'll notice that um, these information are being saved in a txt file uh, somewhere um, where you want it to. When for instance working in a large group on a drawing office uh, using work sharing it's of course necessary that this txt file is accessible for everyone when working on the project. Furthermore, if you go to your desktop and you open your text um, or txt file, just do like this, um, you will notice um, that some of the information um, that we added is being written in here. I will definitely not recommend you to make new categories or new parameters inside the text um, txt file directly, but um, I just opened this in order to show you what it looks like. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm looking forward to see you in upcoming videos. Goodbye for now.